Hi, so I'm going to show you how to combine video with audio using video editor in Windows 10. First thing to say is that there are two main platforms that people use in Irish schools, Apple and Windows. If you have an Apple device, it comes preloaded with iMovie. If you have the latest version of Windows, Windows 10, it comes preloaded with an application called Video Editor. So apologies to all you Apple users, you can look away now. The requirements to be able to make your video track with your new audio is to make sure you have an audio track. So usually that comes in an MP3 format. And this is something I've composed myself using something like Soundtrap or GarageBand or any other compositional software. And then I'm also going to have a video file, usually comes in MP4 format, something I could have videoed on my phone or device, or in the case of today's uh, guide, I'm showing you something that I've just simply screencastify, uh, videoed a YouTube clip onto my laptop. So here I am choosing my clip. Yep, I'm choosing the Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Halloween. <laughs> Lovely piece of music. My next step is that I make sure I know where my audio and video files are stored in my device, not to delay me any further when I get into the video editing part. Then I open video editor. To do that, I click in the search box at the bottom of my screen, type video editor and select the app. Or in some cases, you could just go from the start menu and find it in the list of applications. You'll see me do that here. Now I'm going to uh, use this video clip in video editor. This is the screen that welcomes you when you open video editor. So the next step we do is name the file and add our video. So we click on new project, new video project. We're then going to name our file or our project. I named it nightmare. And then I want to add my video into the project library. So I got this from my PC where I'd already stored the video for this file. My next step will be to place the video into the storyboard. So make sure it's selected. And then I'm going to say how to remove the audio. Place it in the storyboard and then to remove the audio off this clip, the original audio, I adjust the volume. I remove that volume down to zero. So if you missed that, what I did was I clicked on the speaker that is on the video in the storyboard and I just reduced down the volume to nothing or else I could click again on the speaker and that will mute it. Now to put my own music with it, I'm going to click on the custom audio option and I'm going to add my audio file and drag the file left or right to make sure it aligns with my video. You'll see what that looks like here. On the top right, I have custom audio. This is where I'm going to add my audio file that I have created somewhere else. For instance, Soundtrap. Make sure that the audio links up correctly. All right, and that looks good to me. Press done. Final step is to finish the video by clicking on finish video and to export it. So you see me do that here. Then if you have nothing else to do with the video, click finish video and then export. And your video will have new audio to it. So that's it. It's a, an easy step-by-step -step guide as to how to use video editor on Windows 10. Do you think you could have any uses for this in your classroom and in what way do you think you might be able to use it?